Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, some great news in the world of boxing. It's good to say that because recently in boxing, of course, it just seems like we've been getting bad news after bad news, but great news today. A deal has been reached for Terence Crawford versus Sean Porter. The fight has been set and officially confirmed for November the 20th at the Michel Bob Ultra Arena in Las Vegas. ESPN pay-per-view in the States and in the UK this fight should be on Sky Sports. All in all, I think this is great news for boxing, it's great news for the welterweight division and it's a fight in which I've been calling for for quite some time. I've always had an interest in this fight, uh, to be honest. I think, you know, stylistically it's an interesting clash. And, you know, it's especially important for the career of Terence Crawford. Of course, Terence Crawford has a lot of accolades. He's a three-division world champion, undisputed champion at 140. By mainstream publications, he's widely considered to be a top-five pound-for-pound fighter. So Terence Crawford is one of those guys who has tremendous accolades in his career, but his resume doesn't really add up to the accolades that he has achieved if you catch my drift. Terence Crawford now is 33 years old, I believe he's like 37 and 0, but he's not really got that standout victory, he's certainly not got a career defining victory, and you know, for my money, on paper, Sean Porter is well and above anybody else Terence Crawford has faced. On paper, Sean Porter is the best fighter Terence Crawford has ever fought. And, you know, that's why a lot of people were calling for this fight. Many people, including myself, were getting bored with the career trajectory of Terence Crawford. And me personally, I've been questioning Terence Crawford's motivation for the sport of boxing for a long time now. And, you know, this is the sort of fight in which he needs. Every, uh, there's a lot of people out there who say Terence Crawford is the best welterweight in the world. I've not seen anything to suggest that. This is the sort of fight in which will give me some idea of how good Terence is at welterweight because quite frankly, since he's won that title, his welterweight title reign has been, let's be honest, pretty forgetful. A shot Kel Brook, a shot Amir Khan, Jose Benavidez who wasn't really fully fit. You know, the, the welterweight resume has been pretty poor. The Kavalowskas win was solid but if that's the highlight of your welterweight run as a champion, then there's something wrong. But now we have the confirmation of the Sean Porter fight, I'll get back on board with the career of Terence Crawford because guess what? He's involved in a fight I care about. And ultimately that's all I really want as, as a boxing fan, is to see fights I actually care about and I'm interested in. And I like this fight. I get sometimes there are external circumstances which means you can't get the big fights, that happens in boxing, but you can only live on that for so long, uh, at, but at some point I'm going to lose interest and I have lost interest in Terence Crawford, but this fight makes me interested again. It's a great fight, it really is. Interesting style clash, how is Terence Crawford going to approach this one? Will he box and move like he did against Victor Postal in the previous biggest fight of his career? Or will he be more aggressive, like he was against Kavalauskas, for example? I'm very interested to see how Terence Crawford approaches this fight from a stylistic point of view. And we all know what Sean Porter's going to bring to the table. He's going to be uh, rough and ready. He's going to try and close that distance and make it a dogfight. Get on Terence Crawford's chest and really work him. We know what Sean Porter's going to bring to the table. He's going to bring heat. And... Um, Again, I, I have to credit Sean Porter. Uh, in my opinion, I would say he's the most undervalued guy in American boxing. This is a guy who's basically fought all of his rivals in the welterweight division, apart from Manny Pacquiao. That's basically the only name that he's missing on his resume. I mean, the guys fought Danny Garcia. He fought Devin Alexander when Devin was champion. He fought Kel Brook. He fought Errol Spence Jr. He fought Jordanis Ugas. You know, he fought Keith Furman, and in my opinion, even in Sean Porter's losses, they weren't decisive in my opinion. I actually felt he beat Keith Furman, you know. I felt Kelbrook just about beat him, but it was very close, as was the Errol Spence fight. Nobody has an easy time with Sean Porter. He's, he's never been decisively beaten. 
in my opinion, and he's for everybody, and he comes to scrap, and he's a nice guy as well. He's clearly been raised very well, but for whatever reason, this guy just gets downtrodden and basically insulted, you know, people calling him corny, calling him lame, calling him soft, when this guy's only conducted himself like a warrior, giving us fights we want to see. So yeah, I've got all of the respect in the world for Sean Porter, and you know, to be honest, I will actually be rooting for Sean Porter in this fight. That doesn't mean I'll pick him to win, you'd have to wait for my prediction video, but I'll definitely be rooting for Sean Porter. I think he's represented boxing really well, and you know, I think the guy deserves a little more respect than he gets. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, it's a great fight. It's a fight I wanted to see, and I'm pleased it's now been confirmed. You know, given the way boxing's gone in 2021, more than likely this fight's going to get delayed or something, but fingers crossed, fingers and toes crossed that this fight goes through. Anyway, share your thoughts below. What's your initial thoughts on this fight? Are you back in Crawford? Are you back in Porter? Share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Delboy. Peace.